Hi everyone, David Rollman here with Chris. Hi. Thanks for joining me again today. Today I called Chris up because we're making a video about DistroKid, which I've been using these guys for a few years now. This is a sponsored video from DistroKid, but I've used them for a long time. I still do. DistroKid is a service that allows you to upload your music on the cloud. And uh, Chris is the ideal guy because he has awesome music that is not yet on the cloud. And I'm going to show you how to use DistroKid. The main difference between DistroKid and other services like CD Baby, which I've used before, uh -huh. is that CD Baby, you pay a flat fee. I think it's $35 for an album. Upload it, and then, and then it's on there. But you want to upload a, another single or an album or whatever, you have to repay that fee. Sure. Whereas DistroKid, you pay a flat fee. They have different, actually different tier memberships, but the, the main one is under 20 bucks. And you have a year where you can upload as many songs as you want, many albums. So we're going to do that real time. Super simple process. You guys can do the same thing. And by the way, there's a rumor that says that uh, if you go to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Wallaman, you get 7% uh, off your membership. Just a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I think it probably is. You should try. Just pick the musician plan. That's, that's, that's all you need for now. This first one here? Yeah, the first one, $20. The only difference really is the reporting that you might get. Uh -huh. And then um, and then I'll just let you enter your, your stuff. How many songs do you have to enter here? Too many numbers. Five. Five? Okay. I have five songs. <laughs> five songs, okay, cool. And they're really, uh, they're a collection of songs from, really, that span a decade. They're a bunch okay. of singles. Cool. And I, I've spent so much time working on other people's music or writing music specifically for a purpose, like mm -hmm. writing for a show, writing for a jingle, yeah. uh, something like that. And and I've, I've done a lot of that, but I haven't ever done a whole album. I've just had these sort of random bits of inspiration throughout, mm -hmm. you know, the last long time. Yeah. And none of these are online. So I thought when you called me, I was like, oh, I this is let's, perfect. Let's switch to this and let's do it. Let's start. I made a great decision, it says. Very good. <laughs> I'm new around here. Click here to upload music. We'll do. Okay, and look at this. We get to do Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play. And it looks like I can deselect them. I don't know. I might as, it might as well just be everywhere. Yep. So that that's one decision that you need to do. Like some of them are for a purchase, like you purchase an album mm -hmm. or single. Others are streamable, and that's just just a decision. The the streaming services like Spotify, things like that, they they pay very very little right. money, but as long as everyone's aware, that's uh, that's how it works. All right, so I see you already chose uh, five songs right. that we have. Yep. Then we're gonna enter the artist, which is you. And I'm a different Chris Lipe. This what they're probably seeing here is my name on an album. Yeah that I produced, mm -hmm. but I'm not the artist on it. I was just the producer or the guitar player. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure that, mm -hmm. that that's what's I think, going on. I think on. so. And, and if, if uh, anyone has that issue, you can just click on the link and, and see if it's you or not. Sure. But then release date. So you can do it today. You can also release this, you know, if you're planning like a launch or something. Yeah. On a specific date, you can do this that. This is the launch. This is the launch. Yeah. So this is going to be today. <laughs> And then uh, artwork. So, right? Am I skipping anything? No. Okay. Record label is DistroKid. That's fine with yep. me. Uh, and then choose so, image. So we're gonna go stencil iTunes. So we've got your artwork uploaded. Looks awesome. Looks great. That's a picture of me on the top of uh, the Never Summers. Okay. Where is that? Uh, Colorado. Yeah, it's in Colorado, and. Um, I called it meandering around for a decade, yeah. just to represent that whole. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, there's something from here, something from mm -hmm. there. Very appropriate. Yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, the primary mm -hmm. genre, we'll say, uh, it's not comedy. We've well, ruled that out. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not big band. <laughs> well, maybe it's comedy. <laughs> there actually is one holiday song on there, um, but it's not metal. Uh, rock. We'll just do rock. Okay. Yeah. That. That's a. A box that fits so many Ooh, things. Ooh, or singer-songwriter. Well, it's not really singer-songwriter. Second genre will do singer-songwriter. Because and it's not the kind of thing that is going to completely ruin your No, launch. probably not. Okay, track one but. title. 
um, is love someone. I remember that one. That's one of the first ones that I that I heard from you. I wrote this song. It's an original tune. Yes. Uh, there is no explicit lyrics. The iTunes iTunes price is ninety nine cents. That's good. Uh, and then. Cool, it supports M4A, which is the format that I've got, so choose mm -hmm. file. And then on my desktop, I have Meandering EP. Love someone, M4A, look at, look at that. Beautiful. This song does contain vocals. Mm -hmm. And, oh, so then we just keep going and we add more You just more keep songs. going, yeah, okay. you add your five songs. That's, it's, it's so easy, I think. There's no, I, I've never really been stuck. The only thing where I've been stuck is um, what genre do I pick? The rest is like, it's not even stuck. It just makes perfect sense. The cool thing too, I ran into that issue as you're doing this, filling all the, the other stuff. When I released Evolving Seeds of Glory, I, I used DistroKid and I, was, I uploaded everything, the masters, except for one song. The, I made the mistake to upload the wrong version of the song. It Oops. was like a pre-mastered version and I was freaking out, but DistroKid allows you to just quickly go on there, even if it's already on the store, and replace it, and it'll push it to wherever it is in, within the hours. People who had purchased the album could just re-download it for free, and they have the, the right master. So it's nice. super simple. You can make changes like that as you go. So this next song um, is a, it's a musical concrete piece, which is I basically took sounds that aren't musical. Mm -hmm. um, the sound of stomping on stairs. Well, I suppose it could sound music. If you put rhythm to it, it's right. musical, right? But it's not meant to right. be an instrument. Right. Um, or the sound of the light rail in Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. or water trickling. And I, I totally screwed the sounds up with programs like SoundHack mm -hmm. and Reason uh, and, and, of course, Pro Tools. Yeah. And there's no vocals on this one, but it uh, it ends up having this sort of tribal instrumental mm -hmm. feel to it. Um, I, so. I, I love the, that kind of thing where there's like an actual story, an actual, um, yeah, a story behind the song. Like you didn't just get a bunch of random samples, or did you? No, I you, made all you, of the samples. You made them, yeah. I had, yeah. This, was, this was a while ago, and I had this little mini disc recorder yeah, yeah. with uh, a, a nice mic that I, it was a stereo mic, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I walked around the city of Denver, um, and I was living at this, uh, this place that had this huge stairwell, huge mm -hmm. echoey stairwell, and every time I stomped up there to get to my, my room, I was like, man, I, I gotta use that for yeah. something. And so finally, I just, I, I got the mini disc recorder, and got my headphones, got my mic, and went around recording all these stuff, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's how the song was born. That's, that's great. Okay, so next one is uh, song three, Please Don't Change. All right, everything's uploading. Yeah. Five songs, and once that's done, DistroKid will make sure that everything is right, and I'm, I'm not sure what they do, but they make sure that everything's okay before they push it to all the services that you selected. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I guess it depends on, on the service you're using, but it's really fast. Okay. It, like, probably tonight you'll see your songs on some of these Nice. outlets and, and by the end of the week absolutely everywhere I'm pretty sure cool and the cool thing with this is that you can you can log in you know once everything is on there you can track your sales you can track all that and you're automatically pay, paid you know uh-huh and uh, it's pretty awesome well that was pretty easy it says actually it says that was easy wasn't it yes <laughs> <laughs> it was it was uh, when will this album be released? It says, give stores from two days to a week to push the album live. So yeah. that seems reasonable. It's very conservative. But it says iTunes and Apple Music often, often happens faster, mm -hmm. same day. Yes. Get to work, it says. Well, I'm so glad we finally got this stuff up there. How easy was it? it it's pretty easy. I mean, pretty easy. Yeah. You now we just have to wait and see when it's up, but it shouldn't be long. We'll do a follow-up video. I'll let you know. We're not just going to keep the video going and just keep waiting? We could. But we won't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be quick, and I'll, I'll let you guys know in the description of the video. Check out distrokids.com and uh, distrokids.com slash VIP slash Wallaman will give you 7% off your membership for the first year. I'll leave all the link below. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you.
Check out Chris's uh, EP. The name is? Meandering Around for a Decade. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Bye. See you guys soon.